finally some relief after a long time <laughs> so 19th of may to 12th of june jupiter and venus will be conjunct in the sign of taurus which is the own sign of venus now jupiter is already in taurus from which date i guess you know first of may all right so it's around two and a half weeks since venus uh, after which now venus will also join and as you know because if the lord of the sign comes and joins that planet in transit it becomes extremely auspicious now what does it mean it becomes auspicious it means that planet who is already there in the sign of taurus which is jupiter will now get the resources to fulfill its agenda and what agenda does jupiter have well for that you need to check your horoscope where is Sagittarius and Pisces lying in your chart as per your ascendant. So wherever Sagittarius and Pisces is, that is the agenda of Jupiter. And whenever, wherever he's traveling in transit, you know, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, like this, uh, that's like the resources. So it's like, imagine you, you have your house here and you have some work, you have some objective, you have an agenda to fulfill. Now you're going to some other places to bring resources for your agenda. So the placement of a planet is like searching for the resources and the lordships represent what agenda does uh, that planet have, all right? But in general, you have to understand what Jupiter-Venus conjunction is. Around two, two, three years back, I made a video, um, Jupiter-Venus conjunction. They represent anything good, anything and everything actually good that you have in this world. So I said in that video, um, the word congratulations or all the best, uh, hooray, hippie hooray, or whatever they say, you know, when something good happens, you always say, right? Or sometimes if somebody does something very brave, they say bravo. So therefore, you need to understand that these two planets, they control and rule anything good that you see in this world. So have you seen anything good in this world? Anything it can be. Okay, so... For example, love, romance, relationships, uh, beauty, arts, creativity, uh, perfumes, chocolates, uh, any luxury products, they come under Venus. Okay, fine dining, fine wine, everything. And then Jupiter represents uh, spiritual communities. It represents children. It represents, to some extent, elders in your family. It represents the knowledge you get from God down to the gurus, the Guru Shisha Parampara. It's the Karaka. It's literally the Karaka for children, as I said. So, therefore, whatever good is there in this world is only because of these two planets. So, now what does it mean? Does it mean only good things will happen? <laughs> well, it could be, but not necessarily. See, you have to understand that generically planets transit always. Every year they will transit. So, every year you will find Jupiter, Venus are together. Okay. For around one month, unless Venus is retrograde in that sign, then uh, they can have a longer conjunction. But in general, they are conjunct for around 25 days. <clears throat> so now what does this mean? You know, so maybe last year there was Jupiter, Venus in Aries and you know, the previous year in Pisces. So what's the big deal? Every year they come together, right? Or you may say, no, no, now it's a bit better, you know, because why? And now uh, it's the own sign of Venus, right? But uh, it's not as simple every year. Why? Because the sign is different, okay? Which means last year the conjunction was in Aries. So your, so whenever Jupiter Venus comes together, they bring optimism in any sign, okay? In that sign, which in that house of the Kalpurush Kundli, which means last year they were in Aries. So maybe it can happen that depending on the houses that Jupiter rules in your chart, you could have uh, developed some auspiciousness or some desire to have some new beginning for that particular, uh, for those houses, okay? So, for example, if Jupiter is your 10th Lord, then maybe last year when this conjunction was there in Aries, you would have wanted to do something new in your profession, okay? But now what is happening, this conjunction is in the sign of Taurus, right? And this will happen once every 12 years. So, after 12 years, again, Jupiter Venus will be conjunct in the sign of Taurus because as you know Jupiter transits uh, one sign uh, in one year so again after 12 years it will be back to Taurus so now this is the second house the second house is the house of sustenance so now this conjunction is trying to tell you that whatever you had to do last year you did it 
Now is the time you build on it. Now is the time you stabilize. Now is the time you take it to completion or you try to fructify things. Now is not maybe a time for new beginnings, but uh, it is a time to complete things which you have been doing already from last April onwards. Okay, so therefore, if there is something which you have been doing, like, you know, as I said, if Jupiter is your 10th Lord, you did something new in your profession. So you got a job. Now your duty is to maintain that job. Now your duty is to uh, <clears throat> is to see and understand what, how can you go to the next level? How can you stabilize? How can you understand the basics, fundamentals? Because the Taurus... See what happens when a person is born, then Aries is the first house. Then second house is what? It is speech. So you learn to talk, right? So now you may say, oh, but I'm 35, I'm 45, I'm 60 years. Do I still need to learn to talk? Well, you might need to learn how to talk in regards to the things that you have been doing since one year. So maybe you are in a new company. So you have to learn how to talk there. You have to mark up, uh, you have to make a presence for yourself. You have to understand how the how the company functions. Okay, so similarly, if Guru is your seventh lord. You know, then there could be a situation regarding your marriage where you got married last year, but now you have to maintain your marriage. Now you have to develop fundamental good relationships with your spouse. You have to spend time, and then you have to uh, learn to trust each other, have faith, and. Um, believe in each other uh, and add to each other's growth, add to each other's love and add to each other's um, spiritual uh, progress also. So therefore, you need to understand that this is a period where you may start new things, but that's not what this conjunction shows. It shows that you develop auspicious, uh, you develop, uh, you develop auspiciousness in regards to completing things that you started. And this means that now there is a that there is a possibility that you started something and you want to complete, but there are certain things where you feel stuck, you know, so you, you are not able to move forward. There could be a situation like this. So in this case, what you need to do is you have to eliminate certain things. So if you are feeling that you started something last year and you are not able to complete it, from one year you are stuck, 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 and you are not able to move ahead, then you, you have to understand that you have to leave certain things so this is a this is very weird you see uh, even the sign of pisces is you know like the 12th from aries okay so to to start something you have to leave something and to complete something also you have to leave something so therefore if you are involved in a project you know and you are seeing no results coming so then you have to ask yourself what is it that i am doing which is holding me back okay so once you figure out this then you will realize okay these are the things I've already tried and these are the things I have not tried. So if you have tried certain things last year and it has not yielded results, then understand that if you keep doing the same thing again and again, over and over, and you expect that there will be different results, that is insanity. Okay, that's higher than stupidity also. Okay, that's not even illusion. That's like delusion and sometimes it can be hallucination. So therefore understand that suppose you know you are Sagittarius or Pisces Lagna then Jupiter is your Lagna Lord so then maybe you are trying to lose weight or you are trying to you know change your appearance or you know uh, your thought process but somehow you know something is not working maybe then you might have to change your diet plan or you have to go to a new gym or change your dietitian or your doctor or whatever you know I'm and I'm not just talking of externally changing things I'm not saying that and you know putting the blame on uh, people but what I'm trying to tell you is that Either it's internal or external, you might have to make some changes to take things into completion. And if you don't do that, then years will pass by without any result. Okay. So therefore, wish you all the best. And if you had some good success, then as I said, congratulations. And please let me know down in the comments, what, which area did you have good success in the last year and which, and, and within that, what is your plan how are you planning to maintain it and build on it? All right. And this should be related to the houses that Jupiter lords in your chart. So please write down, this is my ascendant. So Jupiter is lording this house and that house. And therefore that's my agenda. I had some success there. Or if Dashas are not supportive, Dashas were not good. You might also have had some downfall. Okay. That is also possible. So 
please write it down in the comments. I am very eager and enthusiastic as always to read and learn from you. All right. So therefore, if you are new, if you made it so far, then don't forget to like the video, hit the thumbs up. It helps this channel and me. <laughs> And also, if you want a personalized consultation, then please don't forget to go to my website. You will find it down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. And if you have not yet subscribed, then don't forget to subscribe to Exotic Astrology. All right. Take care. Namaste and Jai Shri Ram.